on is this thing on? Welcome to living with Marcial. Hello, hello, hello. How are y'all? How is everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well. Happy Friday. Hey, sense for less by Brandy. How do you do? How, how do you do? What's going on? How is your week? How's it going? How are you feeling? I'm having some lukewarm coffee right now. We're expecting snow. They're talking about snow. It's supposed to be a snowstorm. Uh, the funny thing is I don't have my boots. Hey, I'm fine. Headed to bed. It's midnight. I'm fine. Awesome. I'm happy to hear that. Tiwa, Tiwa today. You and a Tiwa. You and a Tiwa. That's a unity. What's going on, Tiwa? Love a black woman from infinity to infinity. Yeah, what's going on? Are you ready for the snow? Our homegirl, Sense for Less by Brandy. Brandy is getting ready to go to sleep. Where are you? I'm in Saint. Oh, you're in Missouri. You're in Missouri. I'm in Manhattan, but I'm from the Boogie Down Bronx. It was 71 degrees today for you, Tiwa. Let me tell you something. This winter has been a weird winter where we have fall weather. It's ridiculous. I love you too. I love you too. I'm like, it's been ridiculous. I, it's ridiculous. The weather has me going all over the place. And so the thing is, I get hot very fast. So I wear my blazer and a sweater and a couple of layers under. But I'm going to have to get thermals and an actual uh, jacket because there's moments where it just gets very cold and then it's gone and that's really bad for the lungs you know yeah yeah I'm in the book from the boogie down Bronx yeah but I work in the city sometimes well now I'm covering here so I work in the city in the city can I tell you something what was it <laughs> I didn't know they called Manhattan the island so you know you have little islands in the in the in the street when you're crossing, right? Oh, thank you, Brandy. I appreciate that. You have little islands when you're crossing the street. Hey, the perfume temple. How are you? Que se dice, mi amigo? Que se dice? Como esta? And so there was this blind lady, and she's walking, and. So so she says, um, she asked, am I on the island? So this was what happened. Manhattan is the island, right? And she's on the island. She goes, am I on the island? And I go, yeah, you're on the island. This is Manhattan. And she turns to me, I promise you. She turns to me and looks me in my eyes and says, no, sir, that was stupid. I was like, I'm trying to help you, lady. <laughs> you can't win for losing. Yeah, oh my goodness. But I am getting ready for this crazy, crazy, crazy weather. I'm happy to hear you're feeling good, mi amigo. I'm happy to hear that. Yeah. So, with the weather being the way it is, I'm like, uh. I'm making sure to drink my tea, making sure to do everything that I have to do. When I was 13, I had a double pneumonia. So that was kind of what stopped my asthma because my lungs went through such craziness that they had to get strong. But cold weather, I always feel like a tickle or a tingle on my left lung because it was the one that was most affected. So I have to really, I do have, I act like I'm, um, like my lungs are perfectly fine. My lungs are not fine. My lungs are not fine. So I have to wear a heavy coat. I have to wear scarves. I have to, you know what I mean? I have to wear thermals. Lord have mercy. So what did you guys wear today? You guys know what I wore today, right? I wore Rosé, Rosé by um, Zahadov. And I got to tell you guys, I love it. it re it's a good rose fragrance. 
it's a good it's it's okay so this is what it is it's a good rose fragrance a good incense fragrance and a good oud fragrance put together and perfectly blended that's the way to describe it it's three really good fragrances on their own that were blended to become this one wonderful scent and it's just nice i walk into myself and i smell it you know opulent musk who makes opulent musk that sounds good opulence you own everything <laughs> hey como estas tony que se cuenta tony's in the house tony's in the house what did you wear today tony que usaste que fragancia usaste hoy yo claro usé um, el rosé de zaharoff y me encanta me encanta esa fragancia hola tafa Latifa, watch, you said Latifa and maybe Latifa will come on in. <laughs> Since you're talking about Rose, today I'll go with, ooh, Habit Rouge. I have to get that one. Can you believe I don't have that one? I have to get that one. I mean, I've heard so much about it. I've heard so much about it. Is, it, is that one that you, uh, on a scale of one to 10, what would you give Habit Rouge? Anyone here who's had it? white bottle oh okay hello i'm here for it opulent musk i'm going to screenshot that opulent musk and i have to get habit rouge i have to i have to it's just i have to so the okay so you guys know i started my fragrance journey last year and so what i wanted to do was be able to understand fragrance as well as possible as a consumer i wanted to be able to smell fragrances and be able to at least de designate six, seven of the notes, right? It's a classic man. I'll give it an eight. Okay. Eight is very good. Eight is very good. And my, on my scale, an eight is actually a 30, 30 out of 10. So that's really good. Yes, please. Tiwa, thank you. I'll appreciate that. I'll appreciate that. And so it's like, I wanted to make sure, so I took all of last year, and you guys saw my journey, you know, to, to try every kind of fragrance. I don't care what it was, indie, niche, whatever it could be. Au genre, R-A-M-C, that's in, au genre perfumes, that's one of the fragrances that I want to try, uh, the companies that I want to try out. Did I read you guys the list of the companies that I want to try? Um, so, of course, you guys know City Rhythm and Shelter and Perfume are here. I've already done them, but I still want to do them 2022. But Genre is actually here on my list that I want to try, together with Elementos, um, Harmony. Someone told me another one recently today. Uh, well, the Savoir Fuer, I was reminded. Ormond Jane is one that I want to try. I've tried two of her fragrances, or three, but I want to try as many as possible this year. And there's a company called Der Duft. Der Duft. I want to try those. So if you guys know of any other companies, if they could be indie, they could be niche or design, I don't care. Just let me know. Say, hey, you know what? Give these a go because I really want to try them. But the fun thing is that I... Uh, what, how do I say it? I am more conscious. Oh, thank you, Tiwa. I see it. Thank you so much. I am more conscious uh, in the fragrances that I'm purchasing. So now I, I, I'll still purchase a fragrance that I might not like, but I'm conscious that I might not like it and I'm giving it a go because I, I still want to grow. I still want to expand my nose's uh, repertoire. I want to be able to desensitize my nose to fragrances that I would not like and still not like them but be able to recognize if they are made well. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, there are, there are types of fragrances that people don't like. For example, let's say if, if I didn't like floral fragrances, I would not want to say I'll never smell a floral fragrance or purchase a floral fragrance. I want to be able to still smell it, know that I don't like it, but be able to recognize when it's done well. You know what I mean? That makes sense? I hope it makes sense. Thank you, Tiwa. I appreciate it. 
I appreciate it. I think we are all smelling so good right now. Like, legit, legit smelling really good. <laughs> so, do you guys want me to read you something? Oh, let me ask you. Did you guys get to see my episode today? The Rose episode? I just started sniffing niche perfumes. Wonderful, Tiwa. Wonderful. And let me tell you something. I made the conscious decision... Oh, Arabian perfumes. So you are, you're, you know what? A lot of the niche houses have Arabian influence. You know what I mean? Arabian perfume for, perfumery for me is one of the best. And it's probably one of the oldest. You know what I mean? I love Arabian fragrances. I love Arabian fragrances. Um, niche is nice. Indie is nice. I don't, I, I judge them all kind of equally. Because you'll be surprised. There's niche fragrances that are garbage. From a house that makes wonderful, you'll have some that are garbage. And maybe they may have, out of ten fragrances, they'll have one or two stars. And then they'll have three mediocre. And then the rest are garbage. You know what I mean? And then I say, I'm conscious, I'm saying garbage. And to somebody else... It's like the best thing ever. You know what I mean? So I, 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 I understand that. Everything is all uh, relative. I'll watch later. Got swamped at work today. Oh my goodness, you had a lot of work today. Oh. Are you doing remote work or like, how is that? How is that? Listen, I, this week was an interesting week. This week, if it was, it was, there was no in the middle for this week. If it wasn't good, it was overwhelming. And that's what I realized. This week was an interesting week. For me, it was, it could have been overwhelming. It could have been overwhelming, but going to the gym helped a lot. I'll tell you the truth. Going to the gym helped a lot because the gym puts me in this, like, such a good space. How, I'm going to explain it to you. Have you ever... Have you ever listened to a song and it just makes you feel good or smell the scent and it just takes you back to a really good time or bitten into a pastry and it's like, oh, you know, it makes you, well, that's what the gym does to me. When I go to the gym and I, I kid you not, when I go to the gym for the entire day, 24, 36 hours, I have that feeling of just good you know so that's why the gym for me is so important it is 100 percent remote wonderful let me tell you i love remote work but you know what yes it will swamp you out because you are home from punching to lunch you're on that monitor you're on the phone you know and then when you as soon as you get back from lunch listen if you don't know how to control your your phone the second you get back from lunch Boom. You know what I mean? What I tell people that work remote, you have to set your pace. Yes, follow what you have to do as far as their expectations, but you set your own pace. Please, you look like a TV preacher. Oh, I look now I look like a TV preacher. Okay, now. <laughs> so what? It was looking kind of weird. <laughs> I, I tell you, I believe you. I believe you. You must, you must, you must take care of yourself. If you're doing remote work, you must take care of yourself. Back to back meetings. Yeah, you have to take care of yourself. I remember I was doing remote work, and did you like that? Do you like that? I was doing remote work, and I would, let me tell you something. I would take time, I would put my phone on whatever is equal to standby and I'd walk I'd walk I'd go to the kitchen make myself a coffee I would take my 15 minutes what they're gonna tell me what they what they what they're gonna tell me <laughs> oh let me see what this does oh no it doesn't do anything oh it does <laughs> Can I tell you something? This is what I think I look like. In my head, this is precisely what I look like. This is me. I have finally found 
the filter that shows me I'm beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, oh no, don't like that one. Let me see this one. What does it do? Oh, okay, it's cool. Mm, whatever. Let me see. Okay, this one. Let's see what this one does. Oh, hey, 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 oh, 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 go, go. <laughs> I like this one. I'm gonna try and make sure I save this. I like this one, how can I save it? Cause you know, if you don't save it, it's gone. And then they're like, I know, right? I can't with myself sometimes, I tell you. I can't with myself. I tell people, listen, 2005, I dated myself and I got to not just love myself, but I like myself. Like, I like hanging with me, you know what I mean? And I think that's so important. It's important for you to like yourself. Because if you like yourself, then you don't really depend on people to like you. You know what I mean? Um, it, I don't know if it was a text. No, no. Yeah, it was a text. I, so I got... My shipment is coming from Fragrance Snack. So that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, do you guys still get that... <sighs> That like happy feeling when you make a fragrance order and you know it's gonna come and you haven't smelled, you've never smelled them, blind buys, and you wanna smell them. That's weird that I can hear your phone sound because I didn't um, put it on silent. My phone, I have to put it silent. If I don't put it silent, you're gonna be, you'll hear everything. Phone call, everything, you'll hear it. Um, and so I still get that feeling. I still get that feeling because I hadn't really ordered from fragrance net or anything like that for like about a month two months i had ordered avon you know but they bring that to your house uh and so when i did my new fragrance net order i i promise you i got like <sighs> happy butterflies in my tummy you know and then so when i get those alerts that it's on its way or it uh, finally arrived to another spot i i, I feel like it's february 2021 you know what I mean? I feel like it's new. Cause, and that's, that's something I always asked of myself as far as fragrances are concerned since I started the journey is I didn't want to lose the excitement. I, did, I didn't want to uh, become like a snob. You know what I mean? Someone that's going to be saying, oh, no, it only has to be niche or it only has to be that. I didn't want to become that. I got the notification today from Sense of Wood. And I had a huge smile. My husband said, it's perfume, right? You see, that's, I love that. And I love how that does not change. It doesn't, it just doesn't become weak. You know who I, I has been doing fragrance, loving fragrances for a year? Tammy. Tammy loves fragrance. Her name is, her, is her namesake is perfect for her because she really loves fragrance. She just gets these, it's just beautiful to see. And I think that that is wonderful. It's part of what helps keep us, uh, jovial, keep us young, keep us happy. You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But it just, it feels good. It feels good. I actually uh, noticed that a few days ago. I was like, you know, I still, it, the same way I felt when I first ordered um, Royal Oud. Royal Oud, Creed Royal Oud, I ordered it from Fragrance Net. And this was before I knew about the codes. So I paid the actual uh, price, which is still cheaper than regular. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not uh, malagradecido. Um, but I realized that the same excitement I got for that first order is the same excitement I got now, you know? I won a giveaway from Sarah, four or five ml de decants, and I just received the fragrances today. All four smell so good. What what fragrances did she send you? What were they? Are they Mazi? What? Excuse me, Cochino. What fragrances are they? I'm interested. Sarah is such a wonderful person. So when she came to New York, I was supposed to. It was supposed to. I was supposed to meet up with her and with Kari, and I wasn't able to. You know, Kari wasn't able to make because Kari lives a little distance away, and I happened to be working in the city at that time, and she was staying at a hotel in the city. 
one was genre. Wonderful. Fragrance by .ca. Let me tell you, I love them because thank you, Tiwa. Fragrance by .ca. I love them because they have the fragrances that you no longer find. You know what I mean? Like cool water. They have every cool water ever imaginable, and they probably even have like the concept versions of cool water another was mossy yes wonderful so tomorrow i'm going to be uh doing the mossy for her i'm gonna be doing that one and then you know god permitting i'm alive i don't take things for granted uh it's i'm gonna be doing that one friday and then saturday i'm gonna be doing the mossy for him so i'm excited and then sunday i might take a break because i have an assembly on sunday <sighs> let me tell you i love the assemblies because those are moments for me to like spiritually just be recharged and be made made fresh. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm excited about that. But Fragrance by, I love them. Fragrance X also is good. And Gift Express. Happy Land Studios. Green Irish Tobacco. Tell us about that one. How is that one? Happy Land, Happy Land is another uh, company that I do want to thank you for mentioning that one. Happy Land is another one I do want to look into because they they do uh, clones, right? But they also have originals, I think. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I write down. A new one added. Happy Land. <laughs> Aye. What do you guys have planned for the weekend? What do you have planned for the weekend? Friday is going to be a chill day. Um, I still do have to come in to co uh, cover the 12 to 8 shift. Um, but, I, you know, I'm going to try and make Fridays my cleaning day. Uh, realistically speaking, I can probably do half of the house, you know. So I'm going to try and make Fridays my cleaning day. It's not easy because it's, it's me, you know. <laughs> Let me see. Oops. That is awesome, and I love Sarah. I love her so much. Trevor Noah, born a crime. Let's check out, let's check out. I'm gonna open it at random and read. Okay, I'm gonna read from page 42. And good vibes, Caribbean lime. Caribbean lime is a good fragrance too. Caribbean lime is good. Caribbean lime is very uh, lemony. It's very lemony, but it has uh, some spice to it. It has some spice to it. That's a good thing about it. It has some spice. So you got some really good decants and five milliliters. That's good. Add Rogue Perfumery. Rogue Perfumery. Okay. Cool. Rogue. Rogue. Have you tried them already? Rogue Perfumery. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they from? Rogue Perfumery. Are they here in the United States? Are they in Europe? Perfumery. And if you if you have if you have tried them, which one did you like most? Okay. So would you like me to read you something? Would you like me to read you something from Trevor Noah Bonagrime? I would love to read you something from Trevor Noah Born a Crime. <laughs> Sadly, no matter how fancy you made your house, there was one thing you could never aspire to improve. Your toilet. There was no indoor running water, just one communal outdoor tap and one outdoor toilet shared by six or seven houses. Our toilet was in a corroded iron outhouse shared among the adjoining houses. Oh, it's in the USA. Mousse Illumine and Chipre Siam. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful, thank you. And I like, I love a good Chipre. Tabac Vert. Tabac Vert sounds like well, a green tobacco, right? It's like a green tobacco. It probably has like some vetiver, some uh, patchouli, maybe mint in the tobacco. I'll, I'll check those out. All right. Uh, inside, there was a concrete slab with a hole in it and a plastic toilet seat on top. 
There had been a lid at some point, but it had broken and disappeared long ago. We couldn't afford toilet paper, so on the wall next to the seat was a wire hanger with old newspaper on it for you to wipe. The newspaper was uncomfortable, but at least it stayed you, I stayed informed while I handled my business. Scotty, what's up, primo? How are you feeling? What is going on? I'm reading from Trevor Noah, Born a Crime. <laughs> what are you up to, cousin? Scotty, I, that's, that's my cousin. So, he is Asian. I'm Garifuna, now, but I have Asian ancestry. And so I put a picture of my grandpa... And he said, my grandpa looks like his grandpa. And I was like, hey, we might be cousins. You never know. Yes, and they don't comply with IFRA regulations. So it's real oak moss. Wow. I'm here for it. I am here for it. Yes, primo. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm reading. I'm reading. I love this book. We couldn't afford, okay, so there you go, while he handles his business. The thing that I couldn't handle about the outhouse was the flies. It was a long drop to the bottom, and they were always down there, eating on the pile. And I had an irrational, all-consuming fear that they were going to fly up and into my bum. <laughs> One afternoon... When I was around five years old, my gran left me at home for a few hours to go run errands. I was lying on the floor in the bedroom, reading. I needed to go, but it was pouring down rain. I was dreading going outside to use the toilet, getting drenched, running out there, water dripping on me from the leaky ceiling, wet newspaper, the flies attacking me from below. Then I had an idea. My brother with the outhouse... At, wait, why bother with the outhouse at all? Why not put some newspaper on the floor and do my business like a puppy? Hey, what's up, Adagodi? How are you feeling? The Caribbean lime is just what it is. A Caribbean lime scent with coconut. Yummy. The lime is very strong. Yes, the lime is very, very prominent. It is absolutely prominent. Yes, but it lasts long. That, that's one thing I can say about the Good Vibes uh, fragrances. They last very long, they project very well, and they have good sillage. Even though it's a citrus fragrance, he, play, he did a trick with, I think it's eucalyptus, to kind of continue having it have that, that uh, citrus-type feel. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> When, oh, okay, I'm not going to read that one. <laughs> Let me see. When you take a dump, I'm going to change this because this theme is kind of nasty, isn't it? Oh, Lord. Oh, okay, let's read something else. As a kid, I understood that people were different colors, but in my head, white and black and brown were like types of chocolate. I used to think the same thing. Did you guys think like that? Like, for us, for me, I remember growing up, everybody was the same. Everybody was Garifuna, you know? You, you were a light-skinned Garifuna that spoke Spanish, and you were whatever. For me, everybody was Garifuna. And, and I think that a lot of kids, that's how we grow up, right? So we don't really have that, that type of divisive uh, mentality. We, when you're a kid, you really... Uh, analyze and determine people by their character and their energy. You don't really worry about color or race. There are a few. I've seen children that are born racist. I've seen that. But that's, that is attributed to the fact that, that that information was put in their DNA. You know? So they're generationally racist and it's just in that dna that person is born with that predisposition to being racist because it's what's been recorded in their blood but for the most people they don't really determine uh everybody's everybody's the same in other words you know everybody's the same a person may have different hair and they'll recognize your hair is different but they're not going to be like oh that hair is bad they see it as hair that's different than the hair that they have on their head. You know what I mean? 
So it's like, wait, let me take a screenshot here. Because you guys know I have a horrible memory. So that's, I don't know, that's kind of how I see it. I always grew up like that until this day, till this day, till this day, I try very hard to not see race or, you know, culture or things like that. It also helps multiracial, you know what I mean? Um, okay, dad was the white chocolate, mom was the dark chocolate, and I was the milk chocolate. But we were all just chocolate. I didn't know any of it had anything to do with race. I didn't know what race was. My mother never, never referred to my dad as white or to me as mixed. So when the other kids in Soweto called me white, even though I was light brown, I just thought they had their colors mixed up, like they hadn't learned them properly. Ah, yes, my friend, you've confused aqua with turquoise. I can see how you made that mistake. You're not the first. <laughs> I soon learned that the quickest way to bridge the race gap was through language. Sowito was a melting pot, families from different tribes and homelands. Most kids in the township spoke only their home language, but I learned several languages because I grew up in a house where there was no option but to learn them. My mother made sure English was the first language I spoke. If, you were, if you're black in South Africa, speaking English is the one thing that can give you a leg up. English is the language of money. English comprehension is equated to intelligence. If you're looking for a job, English is the difference between getting the job or staying unemployed. If you're standing in the dock, English is the difference between getting off with a fine or going to prison. That is actually interesting. Latifa, 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 Latifa. There's no such things as race among humans. I believe that. I believe that. I totally believe that. I believe that it, the everybody, right? We are all one race. Like there's no, like there's no black or white. Like if you think about it, if you go back in history, because England definitely shows that even though there is races there because of the Vikings, the white kings, the Vikings, um, even there, there are people that are mixed and it's not a thing. You know what I mean? You go to places and people are mixed, but they're not mixed because they were from, they're from over there, you know? And when they come here to the United States, is when they are made aware of their blackness, where they are made aware of their mixedness. But in their countries, they're just themselves. And so it's, it's, a, it's a construct. You know, that whole race is a construct. It's, it's a human construct and it's not real. Thank you for singing my name, Latifa. And that is, that's just a fact. I, that's part of what I love about this book. He talks about race in a funny way, right? In a funny way but also from his perspective. So South Africa, their way of seeing race is totally different from the American way of seeing race, you know? So over here, you have a drop of black blood, you're black. Over there, you're mixed, you're mixed, you know? It's just, it's so weird. It's so weird. In Central America, it's just like you're, you're Central American, you know, you're Guatemalan. You're Guatemalan, like that's it, you know what I mean? Or you're Honduran. Like over there, it's more nationalism than racism. You know what I'm saying? It's more nationalism than racism. But human beings always want to create some type of ism, right? Mozzie into me smells a little spicy with lime, ginger, jasmine, patchouli, and watermelon. Get out of here. I am so excited because that's, is that the one that's um, for him or for her? Because that's the one I'm going to be smelling tomorrow. I am hyped. I am hyped. I am hyped. Oh, man. So, uh, guys, tune in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow. Uh, I'll be making the episode for the Mozzie for her. I'm excited about trying that out, smelling it, and talking about it. Uh, and then the following day will be the for him. So it's the for him. So the for him. Oh, man. That sounds so good. I think all of Africa... 
If you're mixed, you're just mixed. That's it. It's the same. Yeah, there you go. It's like, it's like, it's no big deal. It's like, it is what it is. You know what I mean? That's it. You know, and honestly, when you think about it, when you think about it, the entire world is mixed, except for those, those uh, areas that segregated and then just, you know, stayed separate. But for the most part, you look at India. India, India is the perfect um, picture of what it is to have the African, the Asian, and the the European mixture. You know what I mean? Where they have everything. They have the light eyes. They have the beautiful dark skin. They have the gorgeous uh, Indian hair that everybody purchases. You know what I mean? So it's like I don't know. I just I find it fascinating. I find it fascinating. Another thing that I've, I realized is, um, I think I've told this story before, Dynasty. I'm loving the Happy Land Studios. Awesome. Yes. Doesn't it sound interesting? Random is really, uh, I'm happy that you won that from Sarah. Sarah Glam, you know, she, she sent, he won the uh, a giveaway from her. So the reason I'm wearing the scarf is because I'm trying to keep my back warm, make sure I don't get a, pneumonia <laughs> yeah because you know what the other thing i was doing was i was taking a shower and then heading to work like i know better than that because uh the trains are all air conditioned where i'm working at is air conditioned so i'm coming from wet to that that was a foolish thing sarah is awesome oh my goodness so i was telling you guys so that day, we were supposed to meet up with Kari. Kari wasn't able to come. And it was just her and I. And we got to talk. When I say talk, we got to talk. And we got to know each other and really understand each other. And I was like, man, she is, she is awesome. You know, she is awesome. She's a tough woman. She's a very serious person. But she has this wonderful energy and just, you know, family-oriented. She's, she is. She's amazing. Oh, thank you, Latifa. Latifa says congratulations. All four fragrances are great. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy to hear that. So hopefully I'll be doing some giveaways. Um, but, you know, there'll be random giveaways. I might do some here uh, with questions and stuff like that for fun that, that we can play around. Um, I don't know. International travel, international shipping is just crazy for right now. But contiguous United States will be able to have some fun and I'll try and figure out something for international because I'm you know niche for all I like to use them um, there was a company recently that I was speaking to that they are in there's somewhere in Europe but they're able to ship you know it's it's that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to develop certain friendships and relationships with companies that are outside of the United States that do ship to that hemisphere you know Teamwork makes the dream work. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'll sing you guys. Good night, my lovely fragrance blenders. I'll see. And smell you soon. Good night, good night. Love you all.